Good evening from the International Space Station Flight Control Room at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, where flight controllers not only here, but a half a world away at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow in the town of Korolyov are in the final stages of supporting the approach and docking the first time ever in space station history that a docking of a progress resupply vehicle has occurred in just two orbits following its launch from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. And there's a view from the Progress's television camera showing the International Space Station. You can see in the lower left-hand corner the two values, the uh, distance between the Progress and the station, 1.1 kilometers, and the closure rate uh, underneath that of uh, 3.8 meters per second. All LEDs are on. And this view now from uh, truss cameras on the International Space Station showing the Progress vehicle. Rather remarkable that uh, just three hours and 18 minutes ago it was on the launch pad at the Baikonur Cosmodrome and now just two orbits later it's closing in uh, for the completion of an expedited journey. And an outstanding view uh, of the progress honing in on uh, its final destination at the pier's docking compartment. Final approach on station and final approach on progress are set. Depots are on. Copy. Depots are firing. Disable. And a breathtaking view of the progress, uh, almost against the limb of the earth as it flies 260 miles over uh, the Philippines. meters on the left. Final approach initiated. Everything in good shape so far. An almost a surrealistic view of the progress. Uh, Flying over the Philippines, moving from northwest to southeast through one of the new uh, enhanced high-definition cameras on the outside of the International Space Station. The progress less than 100 meters away from the pier's docking compartment. With just uh, 67 meters separating the progress uh, from the pier's docking compartment, uh, once again, a fabulous view of the uh, unpiloted uh, resupply craft, which launched just three and a half hours ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan in the final moments of uh, a never before accomplished two orbit rendezvous to the International Space Station. Operation uh, mode enabled, and then uh, we'll arm a command up to retreat along the plus X axis. Copy. Fifty meters per overlay, which matches course data. An outstanding view of the progress uh, closing in for its docking. You can see on the right-hand portion of your screen one of the uh, Ultraflex solar arrays on the Northrop Grumman Cygnus cargo craft, which tomorrow, all things uh, being equal, will be used uh, to reboost the station in a test objective with a 60-second burn of the Cygnus's Delta Velocity engine at 3.25 p.m. Central Time on Tuesday to uh, test uh, the reboost capability of that uh, particular cargo craft that is uh, bolted uh, to the Earth-facing port of the Unity module of the International Space Station. Getting close to 30 meters. Copy and this is a view from the uh, high-definition external viewer camera showing the progress closing in for its uh, link up to the pier's docking compartment, just 24 meters separating progress from its destination. The uh, progress in the International Space Station now crossing uh, the west coast of New Guinea, about uh, to uh, move across uh, the northeastern coast of Australia. Please do not disable operational mode after you're finished um, changing AGC modes. Copy, and I remember. Thank you for the reminder, though. So all are good. 
Does it look okay? Looks perfect. So far, so good. Yeah, the range is pretty close. So let's just leave AGC mode where it is. Yeah, we're not uh, messing with it anymore. Uh, we're getting good stable image. Cross areas are aligned. Everything looks good. And we see the crosshairs aligned as well, and uh, very good visibility of the docking target. Two squares on the overlay. Uh, that's how much the uh, docking interface is now taking up. It's just a little bit of a mismatch. Copy. Zero decimal 11 on the laptop for range for range rate. Ten kilometers now separating progress from the pier's docking compartment, closing at uh, the proper rate of one tenth of a meter per second. We're within the cone closer than three meters at this time. Copy. Four meters, standing by for contact and capture. Copy, standing by for contact, contact and capture confirmed. Contact confirmed, capture confirmed. Copy, contact and capture. Docking confirmed at 8.31 p.m. Central Time, 9.31 p.m. Eastern Time, as progress in the International Space Station flew 260 miles over the northern coast of Australia. A fast track to orbit rendezvous for progress, setting another milestone in International Space Station history. And uh, the visiting vehicle officer here in Mission Control, Tom Erkenswick, now confirms that the progress hooks are closed, forming a hard mate uh, between the progress and the pier's docking compartment. This uh, will set the stage now for uh, a few hours of leak checks by the cosmonauts on their side of the docking interface before the uh, hatch to the progress resupply craft is scheduled to be open just after 11 p.m. Central Time and the wee hours of Tuesday morning Eastern Time. <laughs> 